Dickie Betts, the late great, loved country and bluegrass music and performed for the first time on stage in 1960. Even though the singer had no idea what the future contained, she would go on to become a country music icon. Betts became more than just a well-known figure in country music because of hits like Ramblin' Man, which seemed to define the genre. In addition to being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Betts was listed as one of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time by Rolling Stone. Apparently, the renowned Bob Dylan was one of his admirers. The hitmaker thought he had penned one of Betts's more memorable singles because of his deep admiration for the singer. In a previous interview, Betts talked about how he and Dylan first met in the 1970s with Ray Paget for his book, Pledging My Time, Conversations with Bob Dylan Band Members. Betts stayed with the artist for a few days at that period, and it appears that their friendship came to an end during their 1995 performance in Tampa, Florida. Betts decided to play Ramblin' Man during the event, but she wanted to be sure Dylan was familiar with the song. He remembered their exchange. Bob desired to play Ramblin', Ma. You don't know the words to that, do you? I asked. I know every word to Ramblin' Man, he declared. I ought to have composed that song myself. All right, let's check, I said. If you're unsure, simply go for it. You'll succeed. Thus, we performed Ramblin' Man. He sung every syllable precisely as I had written it. Eventually, Dickie Betts made it into a Bob Dylan song. Betts was astounded to see that Dylan not only understood the lyrics, but also carried the song. He really did know it, and his performance of it was the best that it has ever been. He was singing and talking all at once. It was excellent. Dylan also included a reference to Betts in his 2020 song, Murder Most Foul, out of respect for him. Once more taken aback by his friend's generosity, Betts clarified, Oh, that was such an honor. My pals would approach me and say, Hey, did you hear Bob Dylan mentioned you in one of his songs? No, I said. 